Mm. I'll go through some of the things you've got here. Uh, the new Civil Contingencies Act, and, and you say in here, though, we found some serious concerns about the level of resources available to meet the needs for new protection, ex uh, pro new protective equipment, etc., etc. And there are quite a few things in there. Would you care to elaborate? Well, bear in mind that this is the view of the authors of this report, uh, in this case, Paul Wilkinson and, uh, and Frank Gregory. Uh, so it's not really for me to uh, um, uh, paraphrase uh, how they would respond to that particular question. Uh, but these are two highly respected uh, uh, scholars who understand very well how counterterrorism policy works in this country. And they are arguing, and I have no reason to, uh, uh, to depart from their judgment, that there was a lack of preparedness, as they've, as they've just hinted. And there were many worrying gaps, for example, you observed worrying discrepancies between the emergency planning capabilities and preparedness in the UK regions. It's, there are quite a few things in here that... Yes, I mean, and these are experts on, uh, on, on terrorism and counter-terrorism, and so you have to listen very seriously to what they say. Remember, Chatham House's role here is to provide an opportunity for specialists in the field to express their points of view and to give them uh, access to an audience that perhaps otherwise they would not have had. Uh, these two are very uh, uh, respected, uh, very knowledgeable people, and when they say things like this, it's right that we should all pay attention. All the more surprising then, really, if you think about it, that, there are, that there's only been one really narrow, and, for the, and, and that's not deny how, how very forceful that, that, that particular phrase about the connection is, but there's only been a very narrow section that the actual media at large have centred on. Well, you're very knowledgeable about how the media works, and there's no doubt that after July the 7th, um, the media became somewhat frustrated at the line that they were being uh, 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 given by uh, the British government, and in particular that there was no link between uh, these terrorist outrages and uh, what had happened in Iraq in the last couple of years. Uh, and so when uh, a report comes out, co-published by a respected and authoritative institution like Chatham House, it was grist to their mill, and, and they seized upon it in a way that uh, uh, I wouldn't say took us by surprise, but certainly the intensity with which they seized upon it uh, took us by surprise. And they went for a, a small number of uh, phrases, uh, one or two paragraphs in the report, which were particularly critical of um, counter-terrorism policy. I think it's a shame that uh, they didn't read the report uh, more fully and uh, allow um, uh, Chatham House and, and, and other experts, uh, especially the authors of the report, uh, to comment in more detail about some of those points. But that is the way often the media operates, and we simply have to recognize that.